Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up. Today, I'm really excited because we're going to watch a movie I've always liked, but I've gained new appreciation for upon a rewatch, Tombstone. This movie came out in 1993, rated R, runs 2 hours and 10 minutes, and normally I'd complain about the long run time, but with this movie, I don't mind at all. This is a biography, drama, history, western, and IMDb has this thing rated at 7.8 out of 10. How do I rate it? Well, that's at the end of the video, stick around to find out. This film was directed by George P. Cosmatos. Kevin Jar did a couple of scenes that featured Charlton Heston, uh, also written by Kevin Jar, and this was based on a very famous western story that happened. After the success cleaning up Dodge City, Wyatt Earp moves to Tombstone, Arizona, and wishes to get rich in obscurity. He meets his brothers there, as well as his old friend Doc Holliday. A band of outlaws that call themselves the Cowboys are causing problems in the region with various acts of random violence and inevitably come to confrontation with Holiday and the Earps, which leads to a shootout at the OK Corral. So that's a plot synopsis. It's rated R for violence, and there's so much trivia to this one. I mean, you can go down the rabbit hole looking up factoids about Tombstone all day. There was actually two films. Uh, Kevin Costner came out with a movie at the same time as this, pretty much, and I haven't seen it personally. This one stars Kurt Russell as Wyatt Earp. He's very Kurt Russell-y in this. Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday. Sam Elliott as Virgil Earp, Wyatt's older brother. And Bill Paxton as Morgan Earp, Wyatt's younger brother. Powers Booth is excellent as Curly Bill Brocius. He's the leader of the cowboy gang. I believe he was in Sin City, too. Michael Bean, who is normally a very lovable dude in Aliens and Terminator 1. He was very charismatic. I always thought he should have a bigger career than he did plays an outstanding villain in Johnny Ringo in this. Pretty stacked cast, actually. A lot of people are in this. I just started watching it on a lark. I just figured, okay, everybody likes Tombstone. Let me watch it. And I had the inkling that this film might make my Hall of Fame list. And upon the rewatch, it actually does. It really, really does. I'm kind of giving away how much I liked it. I'm not going to give you a number score yet, but I just will say this. I had a great time watching it. There's so many iconic moments in this film. Everything mentioned has a callback, the acting's really good. You really get a sense of like just how chaotic, you know, the West was and how violent things could be. I mean, even when, you know, the cowboys are in this like theater watching a play and, and, and all these actors and stuff, when they would get excited, they would just shoot their guns off. And that's like a normal thing and everybody would just laugh and be cool with it. It was fine. So I don't know, just a really crazy place and time to live. And Wyatt Earp was just a really cool character. I mean, he wants to lay low, he wants to make his fortune, and they're making money hand over fist uh, via gambling and acting as kind of like hired muscle for a local casino. But it's Virgil who can't stand to make money, like as he puts it, as like a, a vulture, when the people of Tombstone are scared to walk down the street. So he gets deputized. You know, the whole film, Wyatt Earp is turning down job offers to go into law enforcement. And it's Virgil who steps up and gets deputized first. Morgan follows suit. And then Wyatt has no choice because he gets sucked in all this. And basically, it's, it's when Curly Bill does a ton of opium and goes around shooting up the place. Their local sheriff goes out to disarm him and he gets shot and killed. So it's Wyatt that actually brings Curly Bill in, who's let off the hook. And this blood rivalry between the cowboy gang and the Earps ensues, and people die on both sides. There's a lot of twists and turns. Notably, Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday steals every scene he's in. Almost every line he has is just like amazing. I really, really, really love Val Kilmer in this film. It's a really sad kind of movie in a way, but there's a lot of twists and turns. I really love Unforgiven as kind of like a grounded, realistic Western. This is more like sensationalized. And I'm not really big into Western, so to speak. It's not like a world I like to live in, a world of like disease and dust and, <laughs> you know, dirt. It's not really my vibe, right? But this is such a cool movie. You get sucked right into it and it's very satisfying. It's a satisfying film. The bad guys do get their comeuppance, but at the same time, when you have a film that needs to work like a revenge plot or anything like that, the bad guys need to be really effective, really scary. And that is set up from the very first scene of the film. And you really get a sense of like how nasty these cowboys are, how evil and vile, and how somebody needs to stand up to them. The other weird thing is, is Tombstone's a really small town. So they'll have these clashes with the Earps and then they gotta like hang out with them. You know, you just see them around. It reminds me of being a biker. When you're a biker and you have problems with another biker, you see the guy around all the time. You have a problem with a group, you see them around all the time. At some point, you're gonna have to stand up for yourself. And that's kind of what we see here in Tombstone. 
And it's this age-old struggle, like, when can you retire if you're still capable of protecting people? Especially when there's evil around. I mean, can you turn the other cheek? Can you, can you not, can you act like you don't see that and just make your fortune and let people suffer? No. And even Wyatt, who is very stubborn, you know, he gets deputized and he goes on and fights the cowboy gang and it's really fun. I love this movie. I'm going to put it in my Hall of Fame. I'm going to give you a number score, but first, let's try to sell you guys a couple of my books. Hopefully you guys bought a couple of my novels, and remember, the audiobook for Unkillable Joe is on Audible right now. Go check it out. We spared no expense. Narrator crushed it. You're going to love it. Okay. Tombstone. What's my number score for Tombstone? Well, I just watched it, and I loved it. I'm going to give Tombstone a 9.1 out of 10. And I know, that's a really high score. Anything above 9 is aces. This is going in my Hall of Fame playlist. Reference that if you want to see my other films that have made it. And I think this is just one of those movies that... Almost anybody can like, but if you're into revenge stories, you're into westerns, you're especially going to love this one. It's a treat. And again, Doc Holliday just makes the whole film, but everybody's really acting up a storm in this. It's just great acting. It's a cleverly told story. And at two hours and 10 minutes, you'd think it would drag here and there, but I don't mind it at all. I had a great time just sitting there, just taking it all in, and I think you will too. So enough rambling from me. Go watch Tombstone. It's a Hall of Fame film. And I will see you guys next week on Is It Still Good? Ha 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 ha!